Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Polygon Matic. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, if you haven't seen the previous update, it's going to be in the top right hand section of your video. Make sure to click on that card and watch the previous update before watching this one. So you have more context because I'm not going to be repeating a lot of the stuff that I say in the previous update. Now, Jumping into trading view, we are on the daily chart. And as you can see, we have had some nice appreciation. In the last video, I did have this resistance level at $2.13. I don't I don't remember if I um, called this uh, re resistance out loud, but it was on the chart. And as you can see, um, the, the price went a, a bit above that price, right? You can see we wicked above $2.13. We got rejected from that area. And now it seems like we're coming back to retest the 20 EMA as support, and that would be very, very healthy. As you can see, uh, we broke through the golden ratio, very nice. Uh, now we're getting rejected from the 0 0.786 on the FIB and potentially coming back down to the 20 EMA. If we lose that, I would see us come back to the golden ratio at $1.53, but that, that would mean that we would be losing the, 55, uh, the 20 EMA and coming back down to the 55 EMA. Now, that wouldn't be completely out of the question. That would be still possible and it wouldn't be bearish at all. It would be a nice pullback. You know, the more pullbacks we have now, the better our odds are at the end of the bull market that we're going to go even more parabolic, right? And there's a lot more room to grow. So we want to stay as calm right now as possible with all our altcoins, because if we start getting too overextended right now, I don't know how far we're going to go by the end of the bull market, but that's just, you know, my opinion. Uh, obviously, I want organic growth for the crypto markets in general. But as you can see, yeah, we ran into this resistance. Look for some buy orders at the golden ratio, $1.55 roughly. Look for the 20 MA to hold as support. And we're looking good for continuation. Obviously, we're looking good to uh, break the previous all-time high over here at $2.71. Uh, once we break that, we're looking at a technical target of $6. Uh, actually, no. Uh, seven dollars and five cents right that's the 1.618 on the fib retracement okay that's what we're looking at actually no that is six dollars 82 cents i do apologize uh, the the price tag was in a in a different spot now we do have the 1.414 below that at five dollars and the 1.272 below that at four dollars so these two levels could be your nice take profit zones where you sell some of your tokens if you pull back down, you can buy back the dip. If you keep going up, you can still sell and take more profits. That's just how smart investor, investors would do that. But it depends on your plan, on your fi financial situation. Obviously, if you're planning to hold for the next couple of years, you don't need to take profits right now, obviously. But I'm not a financial advisor. You should come up with your own strategy. Now, uh, we were coming up and, and squeezing with this line, as you can see. We were testing this uh, resistance at one dollar seventy one cents for one, two, three, and three times. Now we broke out of it for the fourth time, so we potentially the healthy thing would be is it looks like we're coming back for a retest, and that would be completely fine. So one dollar seventy two cents would be a very nice place to put some buy orders at to get more uh, Polygon Matic tokens. Obviously, if you start coming back even lower, you can buy back in even more tokens. Now, jumping into the daily RSI, you can see that we have this multi-month support trend line that we had since July, and we keep adhering to it. We touched it in September as well. And if you have a pullback right now, that's where I think we can have a nice uh, touch of support. If Bitcoin obviously shits the bed and, 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 you know, has a correction, which is still possible uh, for all the centralized ex exchanges to liquidate all the over leveraged people and, and you know, basically have a nice payday, nice check uh, of a couple of million dollars a day. And then we can move on with our bull market. You know, that's one way it can happen. But yeah, right now we're looking to, to come down for support. Obviously, we want support because you don't want to get too overextended on the RSI and get to the overbought too early. But right now what we're doing is we're holding this support trend line that we tested as resistance twice previously, as you can see. And now we're holding it as support. If we start losing it, you know, I would expect us to come back to 
to this pink trend line. If not, you know, we may not come back down there, but we may just end up somewhere in this area. And I think this this area would be a nice area to buy in. So if you see like the 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 RSI drop anywhere to 57 and below that, I would start getting into Matic because I think this is a great project. It's it's going to do some nice gains, you know, uh, to our technical target from where we are right now. That is a 250% gains. So, you know, there are still gains in this project. And who knows, we may even get overextended all the way to $12. Nobody knows how quickly we can shoot up. But there's a lot of money waiting and there's a lot of money that is going to get into the markets with the FOMO and the euphoric stage at the end of the bull market. Okay, now uh, jumping into the four hourly chart, uh, as you can see, we are in this inverse head and shoulders pattern and we broke through the yellow line, the yellow neckline, which is great. We've been hit hitting it as resistance for one, two, three and four times right now. And the fourth one, we actually broke out, which is great. And we're coming back down for support. Obviously, we do have the smaller inverse head and shoulders pattern with a target of one dollar eighty five cents. And that was perfectly met. And we even came back down to retest that level. So this target is met. We no longer need that target. So that played out very nicely. Uh, if you took the trade, uh, good for you. Uh, nice profits. I was talking about that pattern for like a couple of weeks, I think. Now, as you can see, what we're forming right now is a bearish pennant or a bear pennant. And this is quite bearish, but not too bearish. You know, it still would mean that we would have a healthy retest, retest of support. So a bear pennant is sort of a symmetrical triangle. Usually they're a bit more tighter and smaller, and you do have a wave down before that. So we have this move towards the downside. Then we have the consolidation period. So you take this, this trend line as the move from the top of the move all the way to the bottom of the pennant, and you place it where the break breakout of the pennant can occur. And I think, you know, we're in the apex, so we potentially either break up or break down. And if we break down, that gives you this uh, target over here. And what do we have at this zone? One dollar forty five cents. What does that give us? That gives us, first of all, the golden ratio at one dollar forty five cents. And this is a bit different Fibonacci retracement. This is from the swing high in September to the swing low in September as well, uh, from one dollar seventy seven cents to one dollar three cents. And we have a we actually ran into the 1.272. Now we're looking to to hold support, but we can end up coming back down below the 200 EMA. Obviously, this is your technical target. If you start breaking down, that would be the golden ratio. And that would be the retest of this large yellow uh, resistance line, which we haven't retested. Right. We broke through it. Doesn't mean that we are going to retest it, but this is just a possibility if we start breaking uh, breaking out of it to the downside with an impulsive wave, you know, you can perhaps see a little, you know, squeeze over here, to, a little wick to this area, and then we bounce up real quick. I don't know what I'm talking about. Obviously, I'm just some dude on the internet, but this is your target if you start breaking down. Obviously, you can break down and just hold support on the previous swing high over here at $1.80. Hopefully, that happens. You know, I want that to happen. I want the projects to succeed, but a healthy retest would, wouldn't be out of the question. But if we do end up coming back down to the yellow line, that would mean that we would get a bearish cross on the four hourly chart. And, you know, that wouldn't be the best thing ever. But, you know, a retest isn't isn't bad at all. That's what I'm trying to say. If you see yourself come back down to one dollar forty five cents, you know, and if we can get there in a couple of days. Right. By November, November 10th, we may have a pullback. If Bitcoin pulls back, we'll see how things go uh, on the weekend. But just like just letting you know that that is a possibility. Above that, $1.60 on the 0 0.786. That's where the 200 EMA is currently. That's another buy level. Uh, $1.80. That's the previous swing high of the Fib retracement. So those are your buy-in orders, guys. Dollar cost average through these levels. If you feel like the project is going to have a little more of a retracement, you can look for the 20 EMA on the daily chart. But obviously, we're looking at $2.58 from this swing high is our technical target and three dollars and 18 cents as the second fib level so yeah that's pretty much it guys if i missed out anything on the charts do let me know now if we jump into actually let's jump into the daily chart so i can give you the the rsi over here because i do have some patterns that i have been showing you 
All right, so uh, so this is the daily chart, daily RSI, and as you can see, we do have this this uh, trend line. I think I showed it to you uh, on the previous chart, but I'm not not sure. So if we start coming back down, we lose the trend lines as support. You do have a trend line below this. So this is sitting at 47 on the index, okay? And we do have a trend line over here at 54. So these two levels, if you see the RSI dropped and, and lose this upper support, you can come back to these two levels and that's where you buy in. When you see the RSI bounce up, that's where you buy no matter the price because once you have a bounce on the RSI, that indicates that we're gonna, ha we're gonna have an uptrend soon. We're gonna have a trend reversal. So that's something to keep in mind. On the daily chart, the stochastic RSI is actually moving back down, and this is this is good. This is healthy because you want to get this uh, retest of this uh, oversold area, right? Once you get back down there, that's another signal that you want to be dollar cost averaging into the project. And the MACD over here, look at the appreciation. We had this little squeeze over here. I showed it in the last video, and doing just great. Doing just great. Uh, and, you know, we got a bit overextended on the MACD. Potentially, we're going to come back down for another squeeze, just like we had over here, where the moving average bounces off the signal line, and that acts sort of a, as a bullish cross in itself, right? But we can get a bearish cross, obviously, that would confirm the downtrend on the daily chart. We wouldn't want that, so make sure to pay attention to all these uh, indicators that I'm looking at right now. But overall, uh, I'm bullish on Matic, bullish on the markets in general. Hopefully, we see Bitcoin get to 80 85k this month we'll see guys uh make sure to check out my patreon i do have it linked down below in the description there are three different tiers and each tier has its own benefit obviously and there's a lot of benefits uh, more coming with different tiers that i'm going to be adding very very soon guys so you can be asking for video requests technical analysis there is a different uh, specific uh, chat for all the patrons so doing very good guys make sure to check out the telegram chat and the discord server as well and make sure to check out the two videos on your screen right now thank you for watching i'm gonna catch you in the next one goodbye and good night